Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be opening this box a bit more and fitting the Sportline front spoiler to the bottom of my van. But is it going to be too low? Stay tuned. Keep watching. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not, please subscribe, like my channel. Follow me for some more videos. decent right let's crack on with this so the first thing I've got to do is just simply work out um, which bolts and screws I'm gonna put where so I'm gonna put uh, one of these nuts and bolts um, and washer at either end now the actual splitter itself has already got holes in so I'm going to put a bolt in there, then I'm going to screw in there. And then I'm going to screw in there, put a bolt in there, screw in there, screw in there, bolt in the end. And underneath, the sports line splitter has already got, well, yeah, yeah, this bit has already got a hole that side and a hole that side. So the first thing I'm going to do is get these up and in, and then um, lightly do them up and then just get it in position and work out where I'm going to want a third bolt in the middle and then it will just be a case of simply screwing these remaining three, four in one, two, three, four, yeah remaining four in I'm going to try and get it so it fits how I'd like it to fit so it's not going to stick out very far I'm going to try and get it to go with the curve of the, the actual face. Um, but we'll see how we get on. So to start with, um, what I've done is jack up one side of the bus. Um, just so I've got some better access to get underneath. Um, now I was slightly wrong just a minute ago. There are bolts underneath. Or holes, sorry. But it's just here and where. Ooh, around here somewhere just there <laughs> and that lines up with the second one so on each side the second one is already drilled out so to start with I'm going to get those in quite a straightforward process uh, but what I'm going to do is lay the camera there I'm going to use these boxes just for a bit of soft support really um, quite nicely fit underneath I'm going to Put a bolt through underneath, like this, with a washer underneath. I'm then going to find where that hole is. I'm going to pop it up there. I'm just going to get something to kneel on. Just for now, I'm going to pop it in gently through. I'm going to reach around the behind of it, and I'm just going to lightly do it up. Obviously by hand, um, what I might do actually, I'm going to pop a washer on that side too. So I'm going to pop it in there. I'm just going to whip myself underneath. Right, just lightly going to do that so it's, it will still move. All right, I'm going to come around the other side and do the same. On this side, I'm going to pop you down there, try and get you a better view of what's going on, although you're going to get blocked out pretty much straight away. Uh, so I've got a washer underneath, through there, find the hole, pop it in. That does actually line up really well. And 
is pretty much where I want it. So, washer on top, nut on top of that. Fiddly. Well, it's not too fiddly, but it's fiddly. Now these can be a little bit tighter. Now, because I know that that's in a good spot. I'm just gonna come around the front here. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, because there isn't any holes, is I'm gonna make a hole in the center and fit the center one, and I'm gonna work my way out. So I'm gonna do the two next to it. Um, and what I'm gonna do to start with is screw it into place. I can get how I like it, then I'll know where the holes are so I can get underneath and um, attach some more bolts. I want to use bolts so it's a bit, um, a bit sturdier, I think. But that actually marries up quite nicely and goes quite well with the bits of the van. So, I was going to make a hole in the middle first, but there are these fixing points for the splitter to go on, on the actual existing sport line spooler bit. So what I'm gonna try and do is break them out and then I'll nut, the, nut and bolt the whole things together. So I'm just gonna spin you around that side. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I don't know whether there's much light around there. Um, now obviously this won't be the best method in the world. So please don't copy me. But I'm literally gonna try and break this off using a pair of these grip things um, because it will just stretch off by the looks of it. Pull it out the other side. Get my nut, my washer, and my bolt and washer. And put that there ready. Um, I am going to have to put a hole in the middle one, so I'm going to get my drill and pop a hole through there, but I can just spin you around here and show you that underneath there, it's exactly the same again. So I'm going to remove this, um, and then I've got a hole to drill in that far corner over there, a hole to drill in the middle, and a hole to drill in that far corner over there and that it would just be about fitting it in using the nut and bolts provided. So I'll get on, get that done, and then I'll get back to you in a minute to take a look. Split is all on, it's all finished. Uh, I've managed to bolt it in there, and there, and then there's three points across the front. One there, one in the centre. One here, if you remember, there was already existing holes here and here. Um, so I've managed to get a long enough bolt through. Uh, take you back around to this side. And there's bolts again in this side and this side. But I have to say, it's, my van has just been lowered. It is quite low. Um, I'd say it's about five inches off the floor or so. And it's looking pretty fresh. So again, it's me, it's Tom from t -Dubs. Thanks for watching, like the video, comment actually if you want below, um, I'd like to see what you guys want to see next really, uh, but I've got some more videos coming, I've got a window video coming, I've got a rear door carpet video coming, but yeah as I said, Tom from T-Dubs, catch you later.